This is an urgent update regarding the Anchor Wallet situation. Apparently, it is not sufficient to just anchor your WebAuth wallet. You actually have to create a new Anchor Wallet altogether, and it's a paid account to secure the your XPR. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to CryptoCurrent. I'm your host, Crypto Rick. And today we're going to show you how to actually create a brand new Anchor Wallet from scratch and fully secure your uh, Proton uh, tokens. Uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So a change of plans. So firstly, we want to give some uh, recognition and thanks to uh, a Twitter account called Eggs Arby. Um, so Mr. Eggs Arby uh, did some really good research and found out through various um, releases from Grey Mass, who are the creators of Anchor Wallet, that anchoring your web auth private keys is not sufficient by itself to prevent a fork or secure the Phoenix, even without a fork. Uh, you're still on the wrong blockchain and you have you still have not secured your wallet instead you need to create a completely brand new proton account on anchor so we will explore this detail so the previous video you can still anchor your wallet with your web auth but this shows you how to create a new one and then you can transfer the funds out of web auth into this uh, new newly minted anchor Proton account. So firstly, how come anchoring your wallet, like importing the private keys, isn't enough? According to Grey Mass developers, the people who developed the Anchor Wallet, it says that apparently WebAuth works on a different thing. So basically, your active and owner keys are fused. They're the same. You are entirely vulnerable to an attack described above, and you have zero recourse available to you. Some web auth based wallets do not offer a form of custodianship of your account, providing you with a backup or method of recovery in case of a lost phone. So basically what he's saying here is that um, if you have web auth, your owner key and your account key is basically one key and it's fused. Um, so this can cause problems. Uh, because you're not actually um, owning the account. Um, and the keys are basically not as secure as an, as an anchor wallet and the anchor keys, because the, in the anchor wallet, you have uh, the, 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 the owner key is not the same as the active key. So if anyone were to compromise your active key, you could still, if you own the owner key, you could still... Um, switch off uh, the active key. So there's more descriptions here, okay, if you want to have a read. So this demonstrates the difference between having a web auth and having a anchor wallet. So with the uh, anchor wallet, uh, sorry, with the, proto, uh, the web auth uh, wallet, you basically, here it says active. So it doesn't actually say owner like it's supposed to. With an anchor wallet, you are the owner. With a web auth account, even if it's anchored, it, you're not the owner. So what you want to do is you want to be the complete sovereign owner and lordship of your Proton account, not just have active rights. So that's one thing that Mr. Eggs Arby uh, had realized. The second thing that he realized was that when he checked out Proton, he found that Graymass had their own version of Proton, which he thought was quite bizarre. You know, why does this have a different domain name than the regular XPR network type thing? So he's there's po possible postulation by Mr. Uh, Exabi that the uh, just as a lot of us had suspected that the phoenix is actually a completely different thing on anchor than it is on web auth 
This is a, a post uh, by another account that basically shows that the ownership related to WebAuth is not the same as an ownership with uh, Anchor. Now, I'm not a technical person. I can't tell you exactly the difference. But suffice to say, having a WebAuth account and then linking that to Anchor is not the same as having a brand new fresh Anchor wallet. Um, with the brand new fresh Anchor wallet, you are the complete owner. With the WebAuth, you're just um, importing it into Anchor, but you're not the owner. So that's why this is an urgent update to my previous video. So the other thing that was a bit bizarre was that with if you want to create a new uh, wallet, it's actually you have to pay. So there's actually a paywall. So why is there a paywall there whilst WebAuth is free? You know, it doesn't add up. It's almost as though it's something to prevent people from possibly um, stumbling into it. Um, we have uh, the 99 cents, which is the 66 inverted. So there's definitely something going on here. Um, so when you just import the, your private keys, i.e. anchoring your WebAuth wallet, that's free, but to actually buy a new account to make a new Anchor wallet, you actually have to pay. And so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make it. So it is strongly advisable to create a brand new Proton account on Anchor wallet, as opposed to anchoring your WebAuth wallet and just importing the private keys in. So for this, you'll have to pay money, okay? N nothing good in life is free, you know, you got to... This is the way to go. So how to do it? The first step is you download, free download the Anchor Wallet on Android or App Store. So this is the wallet, Anchor Wallet. Once you open it up, you're going to have something like this. And you're going to click on Accounts. So you want to try and create a new account. Other versions have Set Up New Account or Set Up Account. But eventually you get to Accounts. So you click obviously create new account and you choose the Proton, okay? It should have a price next to it like 99 cents or wherever you're from, your local currency, but it should have a price. So now you're going to actually buy the account, okay? So you're going to continue to payment. You're going to complete all your credit card details and then you're going to pay the money. Instantly, once the money is successful, you should be prompted to the next thing. There is no delay. Once it gets approved, it's approved, and then you create the wallet. So we'll say something like payment is successful, ready to be activated, so you create account now. Other versions have like backup wallet now or something, but for now it's like create wallet, create account now. So... You create account, sometimes it comes up with launch on Anchor or launch, whatever. The point is you start to now want to create the new account. So there's a box with a .gm. So .gm stands for gray mass, and that's your wallet name. So your wallet address is always whatever .gm, right? So if I create a wallet called, uh, let's say, Rick, okay, my... The equivalent is an at Rick, right? It will just be Rick.gm. So if I want to send XPR, I'll put in Rick.gm. You have to include the GM, okay? If you don't see GM, you're not going to say good morning to the Phoenix, okay? So just remember that the GM is very important here. And in the future, I'll be referring to GM accounts. So all I mean by that is a newly minted Proton account, which always ends in GM. And even the EOS version ends in GM. Anything from Anchor and, uh, ends in GM. So as an example, I put test. So now it says, yep, test.gm is available as a wallet. Okay, so now I click next. Then it says the test GM account has now been created on the Proton blockchain. So now let's make sure it's secure by backing it up and creating the owner certificate. So what you do is you go create backup. Do not click I'll do this later because you want to do it now. So create backup. Once you've done that, 
it's going to actually prompt you to print your owner certificate. So this is a unique function of Anchor Wallet. It basically gives you the deed to your account. Again, proving that this is the correct way to anchor your wallet is by creating a brand new account with the deed certificate. So you click print certificate, it will prompt you towards your local printer. You then print it out. And you'll get something like this, which looks like basically like a house deed or something very professional um, and you know so as an example you're going to have the accountant's going to have test or whatever name you put in dot gm right or rick dot gm or whatever name dot gm it's going to have the network make sure it's on proton i had a lot of people messaging me saying i did it on eos and i said why'd you do that they said, but your video, but I said, what about your common sense? At the end of the day, you're creating a Proton account. Proton lives on its Proton native chain. The screenshots I use are sometimes from Google or whatever. So just use common sense and just go with the flow. And, and uh, this is just about concepts here. So basically, it'll give you a 28 mnemonic but it's already printed out for you you don't need to write it down and this is how i know this is the future of finance because we're not going to be sitting there writing on a scribbly piece of paper what your seed phrases are in the future you're just going to print it out but to prevent people from intercepting your computer you have these extra six words called the encryption key where they will prompt you to actually write these down so what you do is you write down the words they give you right So they'll give you the words on the screen. They'll say, write these words and keep it down safe. And then you do that. Then you go continue. After that, it will say, yep, all good. It's now all been backed up. Now complete backup. So now you're going to store that owner certificate safe because that's now your seed phrase and your proof that you own that account. Now you are the owner. Unlike with WebAuth, you don't actually get that owner certificate if you just do it through WebAuth and import your private key. Now you want to unload all your XPR tokens if that's what you want to do, but it's highly recommended that you do this step because you want to move funds out of a non-owner account into an account that you fully own with the deed certificate. So you're basically going to send all your Proton, all your you know uh, loan, any other coins that live on the Proton blockchain. And you're going to send it to your account. So where it asks you where do you want to send it, you put your account name and then you put .gm. So you move all your accounts out of WebAuth into your GM, .gm account. Now this is an interesting thing. Let's say I send loan to my GM account. On Unicove, it's still going to have $0. It never shows you the value. Now, this, some people say that this is because they don't want you uh, knowing when your value of your wallet increased because then that will substantiate that it act, those tokens are actually compatible on that. So they don't, they don't want you, I guess, seeing that, oh, my loan token increased the value when I sent it, so therefore it is living on the blockchain. You can actually go to your XPR Explorer and actually check that it is actually there in your GM account. So you type in test.gm or whatever into XPR Explorer and it should come up that all your tokens are safely there. And it and this is actually, it is safe to send all your Proton assets to your GM account. So, uh, yeah, so uh, th there's, a, there's a theory that it's basically uh, encrypted and it uses its own encrypted uh, system and so on. So that's why everything is obscure and stuff but anyway so it's yes yeah, so you move out all your tokens into the gm account and then yeah the other option is you launch unicove right and then you go send and receive and then you basically find your account address and then you copy to clipboard so unicove is the natural extension of anchor i have a lot of people saying oh it took me to unicove and now i'm freaking out Unicove is the natural extension of Anchor Wallet. It's basically the UI, the user interface, 
web wallet version of Anchor, which is like the machinery aspect. Um, so basically you can um, send, you can basically sign blocks here. You can send tokens as normal. You can receive tokens and that puts it directly on your uh, Anchor wallet. So as always, the best way to defeat the beast is to ride the beast. Uh, make sure to share this video. Um, this video replaces the previous video I uploaded about linking your WebAuth wallet. So that's no longer uh, active and I'll put a note in there. Make sure to spread to everyone that you have to create a new brand new Proton GM account. And the previous method of just linking or importing your your web auth keys is simply insufficient. And again, thanks to XRB for his research and bringing this most important attention to light. So with that being said, stay safe, hold the coins, secure the coins, and let's surf and ride through this Caliuga together. I'm Crypto Rick, and have a good day.